this video, we will provide you with a training tool that will enable you to understand and use the Sally system to its fullest. This man is in physical distress. Sally, a full critical aid system by Innovatec. Sudden cardiac arrest represents approximately 16% of medical emergencies, leaving 84% of medical emergencies untreated. Respiratory distress, suspected coronary artery disease, suspected stroke, an epileptic episode, breathing but unconscious patients, and more. The Sally system enables early treatment of these medical emergencies in addition to SCA. Sally combines non-invasive airway management, automated oxygen therapy, defibrillation capabilities, other visual CPR guidance, and monitoring capabilities such as three leads of ECG, blood saturation levels, and respiratory rate. The Sally system is located in public and private places, creating a medical response safe zone. Once removed from its mount, the system sends a signal to an emergency center. The Sally system allows treatment to both conscious and unconscious people. It can be integrated into any local emergency system. Sally instructs the first responder using audio and video. Sally is comprised of the following components. The first one is the headrest. The headrest will manage the patient's airway non-invasively. Next, we have here the display screen. Here you will find the AED's pads. This is the oxygen mask from which the oxygen flow will go to the patient. Inside the oxygen mask we have a pressure gauge that will monitor the patient's breath rate. Next we have the SpO2 finger probe that will monitor the patient's saturation levels. Here we have the ECG stickers that will help you monitor the patient's ECG without having to undress the patient by simply attaching both stickers to the wrists of the patient, like so. At the bottom part of the device, you will find the Sally keypad. The keypad has four different keys. The first one is the language key. You will use it to change languages. You can have as many languages as you want in every device. The next one, is the CPR protocol initiation button. In order to initiate the CPR protocol, you will press the green button. The next button is the shock button. Once Sally decides a shock is needed, you will press the red button when instructed. The last button is reserved for professionals. Once a medic or a paramedic will arrive at the scene, by simply pressing the advanced button, the Sally will be transformed into a monitor. Place head on headrest. The system's headrest opens the patient's airway non-invasively. If patient is responding, place mask on face. If patient is not responding, press the green button. Attach both stickers to wrists. Attach probe on index finger. Suddenly, the man loses consciousness. Patient is not responding. Press the green button. The system detects a suspected ventricular fibrillation, indicating sudden cardiac arrest. Take the pads from the appliance box. Remove the protected material from the pads. Put pads on chest as indicated. Press pads firmly on the patient's skin. Sally analyzes the patient's ECG and decides a shock is required. A shock is delivered. The patient regains consciousness. A professional caregiver arrives. By simply pressing a button, Sally provides the caregiver with a professional monitoring display and a full record. This system allows any caregiver to save lives, not only in the case of sudden cardiac arrests, but in any other out-of-hospital incident, enabling them to treat the patient, regardless of his or her consciousness. The back panel is comprised of the following elements. The first one is the battery panel. Inside, you will find the rechargeable battery. The next one are the two charging points from which the Sally is receiving its power supply. The next is the oxygen cylinder compartment. Inside, you will find the oxygen cylinder. The auxiliary panel is where you will find the on and off switch button, the auxiliary O2 connector, and the auxiliary DC connector. The following chart is a summary of the system's operational flow. 
Tally has a secure cloud-based system that manages its communication and data transmission. As you can see on the left, during routine time, Sally is docked on its docking station. Every 12 to 24 hours, a routine automated test protocol is sent verifying that the Sally is ready to be used. On the right is a representation of the Sally being used during an emergency event. Once used, the patient's parameters are sent to the emergency dispatch. The dispatcher is then able to evaluate the situation and decide which ambulance to send. Once the event is over, the Sally is refurbished and placed back on its docking station where it will remain until it is needed again. To change the oxygen supply, simply unscrew the two screws located on the two sides of the oxygen panel, open the panel door, and using the black lever, lift the oxygen cylinder, taking it out carefully, disconnecting the short tube, and then simply Place the new cylinder inside the compartment, like so. A steady green light indicates the unit is fully charged. A blinking green light indicates the unit has more than 50% power and is being charged. A blinking orange light indicates the unit has less than 50% power and is being charged. A steady orange light indicates the unit has less than 50% power and is not being charged. A blinking red light indicates there is a problem with the connection to the cloud. A steady red light indicates there is a problem with the battery or in the charging protocol. On the docking station, you will find two LEDs that will indicate the status of the docking station. One green light indicates the docking station is operational. Two green lights indicate the unit is placed correctly on the docking station and the docking station is operational. Sally was developed to provide advanced first aid to a person undergoing a medical emergency anytime, anywhere, and prior to the arrival of a professional care provider. The system provides the first responder with 24-7 real-time support by emergency dispatch and increased accessibility. The bystander performs guided CPR through the phone, resulting in an improved patient prognosis. To ensure maximum performance, Sally periodically broadcasts its operational status to a remote service center. Sally empowers the chain of survival by creating a safe zone for medical response. A real-time connection between all relevant services that increases the effectiveness of medical treatment and improves the patient's prognosis. InnovaTech. The power to save lives.